So the beginning of, of Halo 4 picks up where the events of Halo 3 left off, and you have Chief and Cortana who have been drifting through space aboard the Ford unto dawn for uh, a little over four years, and Cortana is reawakening Chief um, as a result of this, this impending threat. And so from there, they're, they're dealing with this, this ordeal where their, their ship is being pulled into this mysterious planet and they're dealing with uh, you know, Covenant that are boarding the ship and it's, it's basically this chaotic race uh, to try and, and get to safety um, that, that kicks off the, the campaign with May. Chief, watch out! The first mission in, in Halo 4 is, is kind of a reintroduction of a lot of familiar elements of Halo, but um, seen through a different lens. And, and we really took uh, an approach of, of trying to create a more immersive experience, uh, you know, sort of deeper storytelling elements that, that set a, a mood and a tone and an atmosphere. Um, and shortly after starting uh, on that mission, you're reintroduced to the Covenant and, and you know, you're forced to deal with them and they're, they're not exactly friendly. And so a lot of people are, are probably asking, you know, what's going on? Why am I fighting the Covenant? I thought that we'd resolved that conflict in Halo 3. And it's important to remember that, you know, there's been a lot of time that's taken place um, in the intervening years. It's been, uh, you know, four years, seven months. So um, since the events of Halo 3, the, the Covenant is kind of fractured and, and uh, there are different factions that have have uh, established themselves and so the particular faction that the Chief and Cortana are dealing with um, are not friendly and they are sort of re religious zealots that they're that they're encountering uh, and that they come into conflict with. Over the course of the first mission, uh, you know, Chief and Cortana are, are pulled into this forerunner planet, this, this mysterious world called Requiem. And this becomes uh, the, the location for much of our campaign. And this is sort of hearkening back to that, that original feel of, of mystery and wonder um, that, you know, Halo is really known for. When, when I think back to, um, you know, those, those first uh, steps on the, on the Halo ring in, in Halo CE, uh, that was the same kind of, of feeling that we wanted to capture, um, but presenting a, a, a whole new world in Requiem. And this is a, a world that's, that's full of uh, forerunner culture, uh, it's full of um, mysteries waiting to be unlocked, but it's also full of threats, new threats that are unlike anything that the Chief has faced before. Um, and one of those threats, one of the, the major forces that the Chief has faced to deal with are this new enemy uh, called the Prometheans, which is a, a brand new enemy class for Halo 4. This gives us the opportunity to bring new weapons uh, into play as well as new abilities. And um, for the Prometheans, uh, one of the biggest challenges for us from a design perspective was to design a, a new class of weapons that would stand up against all of those familiar favorites that are returning classics from Halo's past. Um, so we really wanted to create weapons that felt um, on the one hand, alien and advanced and sort of true to the, uh, the nature of Forerunner technology, but at the same time relatable enough that uh, you know, a player could pick it up for the first time and understand how this weapon would function. You know, is this going to be a short range um, you know, SMG-like rapid fire weapon or is this going to be a long range precision weapon or more of a, uh, a shotgun? And, and so as we were going through the design of these weapons, we wanted to bring some of those um, relatable aspects into the, the uh, aesthetic design and the functional design of the weapons and find that, that balance. Halo 4 deals with you know a, a, a large galactic scale uh, story that is as as epic an adventure as any of, of the original trilogy. But you know one of the things we're doing is exploring also a more personal story. We're exploring this this story and this relationship between Master Chief and and his closest friend, essentially his AI Cortana, who is um, you know nearing her expiration date. Um, you know. AIs are, are designed to sort of last for seven years, and she's passed seven years. She's, I think, she's just passed her eighth uh, birthday when the when the uh, the game begins, and so she's dealing with this sense of her own mortality as she nears her her end. And this is something that she and and Chief need to deal with against set against the backdrop of of this you know larger conflict. 
pretty early on in, in the campaign, uh, Chief and Cortana uh, receive a strange signal and they start to sort of follow this mysterious signal that turns out to be uh, a UNSC ship called the UNSC Infinity. Uh, and they try to meet up with the Infinity. Um, and the Infinity does eventually um, meet up with Chief and they cross paths and they go on a, a series of adventures over the course of the campaign. Um, but the Infinity really becomes this foundational piece of a whole new uh, multiplayer experience that we're introducing with Halo 4. So the Infinity ship is that is that location from which all of the multiplayer experiences in Halo 4 launch, um, and it's the location um, from which your uh, new career as a Spartan 4 um, launches from. So this is this is this complete sort of narrative wrapper that we're that we're creating for the multiplayer experience in Halo 4. So Halo 4 is coming to Xbox 360 this November 6th, 2012.